Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia, Spain. Nature is where we are, and with nature we want to work. Every day we learn something new about nature and about ourselves. This is the biggest cork tree here on the farm and it's on the highest border, the southern border and this is where the creek comes in here so uh, it creates a kind of microclimate especially between these two huge core trees and uh, in my Naivety, I started removing the brambles. It was a continuous stretch of bramble all the way. I cleared it here because I was looking for this canut, this infiltration system. And somehow, maybe I have destroyed this microclimate here. Um, this is not the bramble over there. This is um, it's something that grows like a rose with thorns, but it is so tough you have to really fight your way through it. So I leave it, some accommodation, some habitat for birds, small animals. And here the bramble started growing again. Here under the oak trees we have some Cape gooseberries. And then a guava. And then a local plant that produce some uh, berries that are eaten by the birds. There's another one here, gooseberry, and another one. And then three papaya trees. I planted them here because I wanted them out of the frost. Last night we had, or this morning, at nine we had some ice on the plants, only a few spots on the farm. It lasted for half an hour and then it disappeared. So this is now the second winter these plants going into. It survived the first one. Some more local plants and then uh, this is the only thing that's left from the coffee, coffee bush. I planted it because I wanted to see what my microclimate is like and here is another papaya. It's not a popo. Popo is something else. In the same area here I have a passion fruit. I'm not sure it will survive. I planted it here because this is where the brambles grow. And uh, let's see, still green. They usually take their time to settle down. I hope so. And then here we also have the Sambuca. The elderberry 
they are also planted here because they are very hard and plant but uh, they are not hardened for this Andalusian sun. Another one. And another one. Some mushrooms. What is it, Luna? What is it? Find it. This is the plant that grows very wild with the brambles and then the oleander. Oleander, I believe, is a Mediterranean plant. Very poisonous. It brings me to invader species or not. It's a conversation that I find very difficult to enter. It's like the Democrats and the Republicans, you refuse to budge on anything. You just have your belief and you follow it. So uh, I'm happy to have good conversations about invader species but blanket statements this is invader species I'm not good at communicating in that specific way so I have lots of so-called invader species I plant them according to me they will not become invaders but this is where the conversation breaks down and uh, I will keep doing what I'm doing. I want more shade on the farm, I want to protect the soil, I want to protect the plants that we have. Do I want something to destroy what I have? No. That's not, obviously, not the idea. Will I plant something that is useless to humans and animals? No. Will I allow something just to keep growing and take over the whole farm? No. Will I plant invader species? Yes. This is where I stand with this. This is now the time after the little bit ice this morning where we really have leaves falling off uh, the trees, Paulovnia. These Paulovnias are hybrids, they actually have no flower, so the only way they can reproduce is through their roots. Am I planting them? Yes, I've got 98 of them. Will I treat them as an invader? For the next 20 years not. They will be chopped regularly. Beautiful colors. First change in the season. This is asparagus, also changing color, and the almonds are slowly losing their leaves. And the anthena, the home oak, is growing. This is its time to grow some new growth, this area. And also they are starting to flower again. Some more asparagus with its seeds. The rye did germinate 
and um, now it's dormant again brings me to this dormancy state of plants here where we are in Andalusia um, June, July, August most of the plants go dormant and then December, January, February again and only the two times three months in between is the growing season which makes it very difficult for me to understand what to plant and how to deal with it it's very difficult for me to know I plant something in spring and then uh, will it be dormant in three months will I have to nurse it through the dry period or not I will get there slowly we will unravel the secret to this two dormant periods and two growth seasons just to find the right plants for the right time. Till next time. Goodbye.